Hey, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Uh, today we're going to do something uh, not different, but a little bit different. We want to do uh, a comparison video, uh, a quality comparison video between uh, these two adapters. Uh, they're used for, uh, it's, a, it's a current clamp adapter, and you use them for multimeters. If you want to take an amperage measurement, mm -hmm. uh, this is what you will use with your multimeter to get the, to take that measurement. On your left here is uh, is the Fluke I four hundred AC current clamp adapter, and on your right here is the Edgetech CA 200, 200 amp current clamp adapter. Now, what I'm talking about is. Uh, I wanted to see just the quality of both of them. As you can see, the Fluke is much is much larger than the than the uh, Amper, I mean uh, the Edge Tech. And uh, we're just gonna check out the wiring, check out the clamp, and the, the diameter of this clamp here. And I'll just tell you which one I think is the um, is the best. And um, this is going to be like a two-part video because I'm planning on using these two uh, adapters with their respective multimeters. I'm going to do another video, a follow-up video, where I'm using this clamp adapter inside uh, with Fluke 289 graphical multimeter. And I'm going to use this clamp adapter with the Edgetech um, GX900 graphical multimeter. Um, and we're going to see how accurate both of them are and what i'm going to do uh, we're going to take a measurement using this one with the amp with the edge tech using this one with the fluke 289 and uh, we're going to we're going to write that measurement down and then i'm going to switch them i'm going to use this one this one with the 289 and this one with the edge tech and we'll see if we get the same measurement but right now let me just make a short video i want to just see which one is the best and and uh which one is is the best quality of them both Okay, so let me get something to cut this wire tie off. rated for 400 amp, 400 amps, Cat 3, 1,000 volts, uh, 400 amps. Cat, I mean, I'm sorry, Cat, Cat 3, yeah, uh, 1,000 volts, 400 amps, and Cat 4, 600 volt, 400 amps. And uh, using one of these, if you never used one of these before with a multimeter, there's a little arrow that's up here. You must have it where the current, I mean, where the current flows this way. If you have it this way, you won't get a proper reading, probably will cancel it out because it's going in an indirect way. That's why the arrow is, has to go through this way here with the current, um, you know, through the clamp. And I'll make this one to tell you, tell you which way to put the, uh, the arrows. No, it, do, it doesn't have one. But it just it do have two arrows pointing right here and at the top and the bottom telling you you must put it between here in order for get a measurement. Now, just looking at this etch tech, you can like I say, you can see it's, it's it's much, much smaller than the fluke. And so, and also this etch tech didn't make this. This is a rebrand from a company called CEM Sim. And uh, this is a rebrand by, by them. And I tell you, this is kind of small, so really small, but it, you know, it don't have to be that big because the only thing you'll be measuring is one wire anyway to do a, me a, a, a current measurement. So, you know, you don't need a big gigantic clamp adapter for that, but um, it's small, it's small enough. That don't mean that it's not, it's, where I wanna, it's not accurate or anything like that. It's just, just, it's just small, no problem. But um, the wire here is kind of small. I would say if I had to tell you with size, I better have like about a 16 gauge wire in here. For sure. I'm almost certain that it have like a 16 gauge wire in here. I can tell by the insulin. Let me see. Do it say it on here? Um. Oh no, it's 24 gauge. 24 gauge wire in here. I'll tell it was 16. Well that's really small. 
But, um, you know, it's, it feels, the wires are kind of long, too. I don't want to, I would say maybe three feet. One, two, three, maybe about four feet. I say about four feet. That's how much wire you get with this with this clamp meter, I mean clamp adapter, about four foot of wire. Could be wrong, a little bit more, but, but I'm, I'm almost certain that it's four feet, 48 inches, okay? This fluke right here, I gotta tell you, is you can tell that it's a quality build right here. And um, it's really nice. It, it feels like quality. It just feels like quality. The, the cable itself, the wire itself, don't know what size it is in here. But the uh, insulation around the wire is, is pretty thick. Let me take this off right here. It's pretty thick. Um, it's just a, it's just a quality feel all around, guys. It's just a quality feel all around. Uh, does it say what size wire is in here? I don't believe it does. But no, I don't think it does. But as far as the length of the wire. I would say this probably, hold on one second. I'd say probably like four feet also. I would say, yeah, I'd say about four feet. One, two, yeah, about four feet, 48 inches. And um, like I said, it feels really good. It looks nice also. Um, the diameter right here is um, pretty big. Cause it, so that means that you can um, uh, put a, uh, take a measurement on big, larger wire. This one you can't. You probably uh, go up with probably like a two out at the most. No, not even a two. I don't think a two. Yeah, maybe. So maybe number eight, something like that. So number six, you might get through here. Uh, you don't want to go too big. Because if you make it too big, it won't close all the way. It'll probably be halfway open. And you can't get a good reading like that with a halfway open. It has to be closed because that in the inside right here has to be touching with this over here in order to get um, a proper reading. So, um, you know, I don't know. You know, so, I mean, uh, I'm not saying this is bad. I'm not saying this is bad, you know. But um, it's, just, it's just small. It's just small. And it's rated for CAT. I don't know what I saw in here. Input and output, 640 CAT 2. Okay, rated. Uh, Fluke. What else they have? CE. CE. Okay, they have it too. They have Canadian um, uh, standards also. Safety. And this just have the CE on it. Um but this this fluke is very nice, very nice as expected. And uh, like I say, this is smaller, but that don't mean that it's it's not really a, a real good clamp adapter. Just, but um, I'm looking forward to the video, uh, the upcoming video that I'm gonna do. I have some more videos before that, and it give me enough time to try to get some things together so I'll be able to measure it. Uh, I'll take a measurement using these, a proper measurement to use these, uh, not to find something. But uh, guys, also, um, I want to tell you, if this is your first time looking at the channel, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, and leave a comment. Uh, all that, all of that is, is in support of the channel. It's for free. And you'll be held just helping the channel out. That's all, man. Just helping the channel just stay on. And because uh, I love making these videos, showing guys the tools, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, being I've been an electrician for a long time, and I just like I'm a tool geek. I guess you can call it that. I love tools. I love electrical tools, but I like that. I love being an electrician. But anyway, uh, so guys, out of the, out of both of them, right now, uh, I told you I would pick one for quality. I guess you would have known that off the top. Uh, the flute got this one. You know, the flute got this one. Uh, even because you, first of all, the quality of it itself, the quality build, um, and the large diameter, that means I can go up to any wire that I need to go up to just about, and, and still do a smaller wire, whereas with this, you stuck with just smaller wire, and you can't go up to the thing that's real, real, real large. Now, also, the cable here that we're using is pretty, it's pretty nice. You know, it's not stiff at all, it's flexible. This one too is real thin and it's flexible, but it's 24, uh, it's 24 uh, gauge wire, and that's suitable for the type of uh, amperage that you will be taking. Just 200 amps, uh, you know, the wire that you'll be taking. This it's, it's suitable. The next test, like I say, is going to do is going to be have, have to do with accuracy, and that's when I'll use the um, the multimeters 
uh, the respective multimeters with each of these units. And then I'm going to switch them and use this with the Fluke, use this with the Etch Tech. Those of you who don't know what the, what the GX900 is, that's a graphical multimeter that, uh, that, uh, that, um, that Etch Tech piggybacked off of the 289. They kind of cloned it a little bit. And, but it's like a beefed up version almost and when you see it if you don't know what I'm talking about I, I encourage you to go take a look at it uh, I think it's a pretty good meter myself even though they stole Fluke's idea I will say I have to say that they, they, uh, it, it, they're not original it, they looked at Fluke and just uh, designed it almost exactly like the Fluke but just put everything bigger you know so uh, for originality no I give them a zero because they, they they, they copy flu uh, you know but a lot of the stuff on there that they've done it's okay but I you know I they but anyway with all that being said guys I just want to uh, want you guys to prepare yourselves for the video coming up I don't it I have several other videos coming up soon before it you know before that video I'm telling you about but uh, or I might get it in here before those other videos but I have a lot of videos coming so stay tuned for that uh, in the meantime you guys take care and uh, peace out to the next video.